Uh, listen, I'm in Europe, and then I do the hill country blues with the band. But it take <laughs> playing the hill country blues with a band. You really got to be tuned in on that music in order to do it. It can be difficult if you ain't uh, don't understand it. But when I play with the band, I try to keep it where the guy who the wheel won't run off. I don't like to do it that way, but I can make it work either way. But and then I got the Chicago Blues Band too, if I do that. But uh, if you're gonna have a Chicago Blues Band, you'll be playing Chicago Blues. I like to have a piano in there. But all the guys play piano now pretty much. They want to play the keyboard. No, 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 no. No keyboard. Piano. People seem to think these things go with the blues. The sax. No. This is the Mississippi saxophone for the blues. Yes, sir. This here. Little Ward and Sonny Ball, Willis and all those guys made it like that. This is the Mississippi saxophone. You're going to play the blues. The piano. Not the keyboard and organ. No, 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 no. Doesn't fit. Oh, you can add it in there. When you add it in there, it throws, it starts breaking off lugs off the wheels. You understand? <laughs> it does not fit. You understand? You can add it in there, but it doesn't fit. Can you imagine a blues band without a harmonica? you seen them like that, haven't you? And then when the harmonica sound come in and somebody come up, how it changes the sound of the band. The same with a piano. A blues band without a piano or a harmonica. The great B.B. King, he didn't play with none of that stuff. A great blues man, but the licks, he's selected on the guitar. Feel thin for all of that stuff. You follow me? You understand what I'm saying? It feels thin for all of that. And a lot of times, Blues guy without a piano player or a harmonica player. Let me let y'all in on something that you don't know. Blues is a serious kind of music. Back in the beginning, nobody wanted a harmonica player. That's why he played alone. And the guitar man played alone. The piano man played alone too. Because of this reason, the good time man with his nice suits on, he'd have one, maybe two, you know? He played the guitar and he draw all this tension with the women. He was the big rooster. Do you follow me? He was a rooster. He had all these chicks around him. The harmonica man was also with his six on. Big rooster too. Now, the piano man with his six on, he's a rooster also. But but comparing to the good time man and the harmonica man, the piano man was a banny rooster. <laughs> Do you follow me? The guitar man and the harmonica man couldn't get along. Why? Because too many roosters in the hen house. You see? That was the trouble. That's why they didn't work together. The guitar man did not want that. So Muddy Waters was a guy. They put all these people together. And it did cause the problem. He already knew about it. If you played piano back then, mm -hmm, you was in left field. <laughs> you follow me? 
you weren't gonna bother the, the guitar man, the harmonica man that much. You was over here, you know, because my grandmother, oh, you play piano. Mm. Granddaddy, you know, anybody done that. But the guitar man, the harmonica man was very powerful. It's still like that today. Yes. Y'all learning anything? Yeah. Hey, hey! <laughs> Terry Harmonica Bing, we just lost a great blues man, Mr. Lazy Lester. We done a show here together last year, right? But Mr. D. Carp, and he left out of here this year. The last harmonica player for the late Lightning Slim. That song, Mr. Lace Lester from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Master. 